what's up youtube viewers and subscribers thank you all for liking subscribing supporting the movement leaving your supportive comments i do appreciate you all now we're back with another video and it's all about being in prison during the pandemic now i must say you know i wouldn't want to be in prison full stop but to be in prison during a pandemic it's you know even i don't think words can explain you know to be in there like that now the reason that i would say that is because you know the first thing that came to my mind is and i've mentioned before is that you're in a confined space sharing with someone in a cell you know that's not big at all and you know the windows that you open up as well are not big at all so for getting air in and so forth you know that's not a nice situation but i do understand you know if you do a crime you've got to pay the price for it but you know i seen on you know the news yesterday and prisoners well one prisoner was speaking up saying that he was on remand and he wasn't sentenced yet and you know maybe they could let him out on tag so i do agree with that depending on your crime but you know i'm not saying that they should let all prisoners out but you know that's a crazy situation so i thought i had to, to definitely drop a video about my you know thoughts on that and I've spoke to my brother and my brother said to me, you know, that you're, there's no education, there's no, well, certain prisons, you're not getting visits, it's done through Skype. And if you do get visits, then, you know, there's no touching, you know, there's no kissing, you know, there's, there's nothing at all. You just sit there few meters apart you know with your kids or you know whoever your loved ones and you know that must be a hard thing as well because visitations in prison is a big thing you know that's the time where you can hug and kiss and you know speak to your family members like you know even though you get to speak to them on the phone but it's not the same thing and you know the other thing that i would say is is that you know in prison there's a different you know mixed of a lot of nationalities and then on top of it i don't think the nationalities really matter but i think on top of it like you know they've got a lot of people coming in and a lot of people are not being tested tested and vaccinated which will be causing a huge problem a huge problem 100 percent in prison which obviously you know they've not got control over otherwise people wouldn't be locked up for you know 23 hours a day so you know and um yeah i think the government's just going along with this pandemic thing as they go along you know just saying what it is and just to keep everyone happy because you know va a vaccine takes a long time you know to be created and so forth and they've done it with this amount of time now we just have to see if it does really work or not now do leave your comments on the situation below i didn't really want to go into the pandemic situation but due to speaking on to the prison topic that i had to you know drop that in at the same time but i hope you're all staying safe at a time like this and you know um try and keep in touch with your loved ones as much as possible and if you are seeing them then you know socially distance you know at you know at a safe distance unfortunately but yeah um it's like my brother said you've just got to actually get on with you know doing the time now like i said to be locked up for 23 hours a day so there's no education you know there's no job so if you had a job even as on the wing i think you might still be able to be on the wing if you've got a job because for the cleaning you know i think that would be a big thing so they would maybe continue with the cleaners but with working in other areas in the prison that's been shut down but yeah so i hope you all enjoyed this video and i've got plenty more coming so stay locked and i'll catch you all soon and stay safe and peace to you all